Okay, now we are going to reuse them, but this time we'll take our understanding of uh, Flutter Dart one step further and which is very useful. Yes, we can just go ahead and copy four times like this and this would work as well. But this has been pretty much the boring and repetitive and I feel like that we need to learn something new. See? So we can just go ahead and copy them two times, three times or four times and it would work but this is becoming very repetitive and this is not what we want so we'll understand broaden our understanding about uh, dart now to do that first here we'll create a map over here so we'll create a var and the var is images info like that and inside over here we'll create a map now the map will take value as a string and uh, so key as a string and value as a string as well so if you want to use map in dart first you have to mention the type so key value pair their pair and then we'll have this curly braces to put this uh, map key and value inside anyway so now let's go ahead and do it and how we are going to do that so over here we'll have our text over here our text name is settings so what I'm trying to do over here move this value and this one dynamic so here we'll have this text which we'll call settings and then for each text there would be an image the image is whatever the image is name now there is a greater benefit of doing like this yes it does include a bit of complexity I understand we want to replace them dynamically this one and to be able to do that first we need to come over here and introduce something called spread operator so here I'll have the spread operator and inside this I'll generate list so instead of doing it manually here you can do it using list.generate which returns widget so over here we do images dot length so it doesn't matter how many of them will get the length directly and right inside this we are going to repeat and whatever we have and it should work now let's go ahead and save it okay we'll have three of this but of course right now not none of this changed now we want to change this section now one of this section to be dynamic now to be able to do that we need to read it from our map so what is our map? Our map is images dot info. Now over here we want to get the uh, key. So uh, sorry, value. So this these are keys and these are called values because they are in key value format. So for images itself, we want to get the values. So to get the values, map has a property called values, and then we want to get them using index so over here this index is assigned dynamically whatever you put for this list dot generate of course it wants a list and uh, inside this it can grab this index automatically but to so we will use that index now here map has a function which is called element at over here we can just pass the index so what it will do it will over here it will get this map which is this one and then get all the values so these are the values and then from values using this index it will find the certain value hopefully it makes sense and that's how it works okay now if we go ahead and save it now and we'll see that it works you see they already have changed awesome now over here we want to do the same so we can just simply do like this images images dot now this time we want to get keys instead of values and element at index okay now let's go ahead and save it and we'll see that it already works and this is awesome now inside this over here we want to apply margin and then we do add insets dot only and then over here we do bottom and uh, 15 dot h let's go ahead and save it awesome 
So now with this, we have broadened our understanding a little bit about map, how we can use map inside widgets and use them dynamically and generate them dynamically. Now with this, there is a greater benefit. In future, if you want to change this icons without updating your code over here. So in that case, you need to read them from API because you can change API anytime and then it would get updated automatically. But of course, in that case, you have to first make an API call and API call should return JSON in key pair values and you put them over here. Okay, so this has a greater benefit if you want to change them dynamically. So this is why I have introduced this idea over here. Hopefully it makes sense.